There's a couple different ways we guys can go about this. Um, first of all, we could look at a special right triangle and say, oh, if this side is 60 and that's 30, then I know short leg hypotenuse x squared of 3, right? So technically, if I'm going from here to multiply by square root of 3, that means to go from here to here, I'd have to divide by the square root of 3. And then to go from here to here, you're just multiplying by 2. Yes? So you could say x is equal to 2 times 7 divided by the square root of 3, which is equal to 14 over the square root of 3. But that is assuming that you are really, really good at knowing your special right triangles, right? And you're like really good at doing that. Another thing we could look at is why don't we just create a ratio? If here's the sine of, if here's 60 degrees, if we're trying to find this, this length, what length of this is this on the triangle? Is it the adjacent, opposite, or hypotenuse? It's the hypotenuse. The right angle looks at it. That's the hypotenuse, then what is this? Opposite. The adjacent is between the angle and the 90 degrees. So we could write a trigonometric function. We could say the sine of 60 degrees is equal to opposite over, um, sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. Correct? OK. Now, if we had a calculator, that's awesome. We could plug this in, and I'll show you how to do that. But since this is a basic trigonometric function, you probably wouldn't have a calculator, Robert, to be able to use. So can we figure out, then, what is the sine of 60 degrees? So Caleb, what it comes into, look back over that unit triangle that we created. What is the sine of 60 degrees? What's the sine of 60 degrees? 1 half. So I can just replace 60 degrees with 1 half equals 7 over x. Now again, guys, how do we solve for x? We can't solve for x in the denominator. We'd have to multiply by x on both sides. So therefore, we'd have x over 2 is equal to 7. What am I getting? Sine of 60 degrees. No, guys, it's square root of 3 over 2. You guys are lying to me. The sine of 60 degrees, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, square root of 3 over 2. So now I'd multiply by x. So I have uh, x squared of 3 over 2. Guys, I tell you, we still have one more example to go over. And it's either you guys are going to get it or not. Divide by the reciprocal. Um, divide by it, or you could also say multiply by reciprocal. And lo and behold, what do we know? We get 14 over the square root of 3, which again, guys, you could also rationalize your denominator, which I did not do. Which would be your final answer there. Okay. Now, that is important because if you guys don't have a 